<clears throat> hey everybody, Bosco Piper UK, the 20th of June, and it's just after 2 in the afternoon. Um, haven't had the box opening for a while. Um, this is um, from the Danish Pipe Shop, and it should be a Soren Jeffberg. I've got two of his pipes um, so far, and um, they're really fantastic pipes. So I went for another one, which was quite an interesting shape, a shape that I haven't had so far. So I've been keeping an eye out for new batches of his on the Danish Pipe Shop website. And um, as soon as I saw it, I grabbed one of these. I've got a couple of pipes coming through. I've bought a couple of estate pipes. From uh, on eBay from America, uh, I think one of them is a Savonelli, and the other one is a French pipe. I can't remember the name. But they look like interesting pipes, um, and the other one is a Jake Hackett. It's a Jake Hackett bent pipe. I've been trying to get a Jake Hackett bent pipe for a long, long time, and I never managed to kind of snatch it in time. This time he had um, a couple of able, which they were on his site on his uh, eBay sort of pages for quite some time. So I was really delighted that I was able to get one. Okay, so, Danish Pipe Shop box. As uh, many of you will probably know, they've got a new shop um, opening very soon. I'm not sure if it's opened yet or not. No, I don't think it has. Um, it's either August or September that it's opening up, somewhere around that kind of time. Um, I'm really keen to go and see that actually, but I can't see when I'll actually be able to uh, go running off to Denmark, but um, it's something I'm really keen to do. Anyway, so, Rathberg, selected Briar hand carved in Denmark. I think this stem is on the wrong way, possibly, no it's not. Okay. Saddle bit. Diamond shank. Well, kind of, like a curved diamond. A squat apple. I don't have anything like this. Even. Even. I get mixed up with my shapes. Really, really nice. That's uh, inlay. Very similar to the one I've got on my other Refberg pipe. This was the first Refberg pipe I bought, which is a semi Lovett. Um, as I've mentioned in other videos, I kind of set this aside for a while. I even tried to sell it when I first got it because I I really bought it too early in my smoking uh, career, if you like, because I had no understanding of how to properly smoke a pipe and it was heating up too fast because it's a pretty diminutive pipe it's small and you know if you don't keep your cadence in check this thing would heat up um, like a furnace in no time at all and i still do occasionally if i'm not careful um, but i really enjoy smoking aromatics in this pipe i tend to use this on the go because it's really there we go again forever dropping my pipes um but um when i'm on the go i tend to use lightweight straight pipes when I'm uh, out and about, um, but uh, more so for aromatics. I tend to use um, small, light, straight pipes. And when I'm smoking English uh, blends, I tend to use bent pipes. Um, in terms of comfort, as I've mentioned it more than once, I prefer bent pipes for comfort, but if they're really lightweight like this, then it makes no odds. Um, and I, I've come to really love this pipe. Um, Rathberg number two is this one here, it's a bent one. I am actually having a little bit of an issue in that the stem is quite loose. It's not completely loose, but it is pretty lo much looser than I would expect. I may well send it back to get it sorted out. Um, but this one, a beautiful pipe, stunning grain, lovely, lovely pipe this one. Really, I absolutely love this pipe, a saddle bit, but I haven't smoked it enough because I'm just um, worried about making this problem worse 
So I just haven't had the chance to send it back, but I do need to do that at some point. So let's have a closer look at this one. Nice smooth top. They had um, three, I think, or four available. I think they're all gone now. Um, the rest of them were smooth, higher grade, better grain, and they were quite a bit more expensive. And um, I actually preferred this. I like it. it's more interesting where part smooth and part rusticated. Happy with that. Quite a slim shank there. But being that it's a squat, um, it's obviously got nice thick walls. It's going to be quite a small smoke there, which I'm very happy with. Um, I've mentioned before as well that I prefer um, several smaller bowls than to have one huge bowl to you know to, to last me for a whole session. Now, I'd rather have two or three, perhaps an English than an aromatic, than perhaps uh, a Virginia, something like that to mix things up. So. Um, yeah, this is really nice. It's quite small. It's quite light. Um, I don't remember what the actual weight is. I'll give that a quick go on the scales. I would estimate that this is in the late 30s in terms of weight. 38, 39, yep, yeah, so late 30s I was right. 39 grams, which for me is absolutely perfect. Um, I do have quite a few hefty pipes, but um, I've, as my uh, hobby is kind of maturing, if you like, I'm leaning towards lighter pipes. I still buy heavier pipes. I mean, the uh, the Hackett is a pretty heavy pipe compared to the pipes that I buy. It's going to be in the around the 60 to 70 grams, which for me is on the heavier end of things. But because it's bent, it shouldn't really um, make it difficult to smoke and to clench because of the center of gravity being close to your face. Um, but um, just to give you an idea, these are two hefty pipes. So this is a, a Paul's Pipes, Paul Menard. This is a reverse Calabash Dublin. A really big pot if you compare it to the, it's really a, a decent size. It's probably double the size of this. Um, but this one is not the I don't smoke this when I want to clench because it's too difficult to clench. You can clench for a while, but you're going to get sore after a bit. Your jaw is going to get sore because the uh, center of gravity is the weight of it is all at the the the, the bowl end of things, and uh, so when you're clenching on that, that's pulling the whole time. So I tend to use this for new blends when I'm really trying to focus on the blend and on the flavors, um, and so I'll, I'll sort of not be doing anything else. So I'm, I have, my hands are free, so I'll be holding the pipe for the most part. But uh, it's very clenchable if you need to, but not for a long time. This pipe, on the other hand, this is um, a Boswell pipe, um, a hefty apple. Um, really love this pipe. I use this for aromatics. And this is a hefty pipe. It weighs, I would say this must weigh around 100 grams, if not more. And... Um, but because of um, this one, actually, when I first bought this, it was on online, it was around there, and I asked them to bend it more, which he did, um, Dan Boswell. Um, and that's really made it a chin hugger, even though it's not designed to be. It's not like an umpal, um, but because of the extra bend, it's made it extremely comfortable. And even though it weighs 98 grams, um, it doesn't feel like it. It feels as comfortable as um, perhaps a pipe like that. Um, or say this one. This one is 50 odd, well that's near enough 60 grams that one. But this one I smoked yesterday, really comfortable. It's also 60, it's quite deceptive funnily enough. This one really feels light compared to that one but they're very similar, very very similar. 58 grams. Sixty, very similar weight, interesting, but they're both comfortable because of the bend. Um, the bend makes it really comfortable. So, um, from that perspective, th that's why I, I, I favour bent pipes in general. But straight pipes, 
I very much enjoy as long as they're lightweight which is why this one I don't go out with and this one I, I use quite sparingly for new blends and things like that because it does it need to be handheld it's um, doesn't take away from the fact that it's a stunning pipe the craftsmanship on it is really second to none I absolutely love this pipe but each pipe has its purpose and uh, you know each person has the preferences for when they like to use particular pipes so back to um, someone's but this Soren pipe absolutely love this pipe it's just something different and um, I'm looking forward to using it and uh, no doubt you'll be seeing it again in the future thank you very much catch you on the next one